one channel which is against wind protection. I think we are just at the beginning of a new era. It's important to be ready with innovations every year, every year, every year. It's our job to figure out what it is that's holding them back. You can almost split it into three different groups where there are uh, older customers maybe who grew up doing sports without any helmets and they have one set of, of perceptions and beliefs. And then there's a, a middle generation uh, that have grown up um, starting to adopt helmets. And then there's a very young generation that's only known sports with helmets. So you can really look at the three different ways. We've seen a, a growing trend in Europe, but already over the last six, seven years, I would say, with an acceleration uh, in helmet interest and helmet wearing every day on the slopes. So there's this small underground group, you know, uh, playing it cool, not wearing helmets and stuff. Uh, but that's not going to last long because we're in a, in, in a, I mean, looking at trends from a, a long term perspective. We're in a position where the society is changing towards safety, well-being, protection in all areas, uh, you know, of, of, of people's lives. So, you know, even though it's not going to be mandatory wearing helmets in four or five years from now, I would say that the majority of people, for sure, will be wearing helmets in within that that time frame. Well, we were there since uh, 1996 and of course, I mean, in the beginning, uh, helmet was like uh, a kid's helmet market. We had a really hard time to convince people to uh, wear helmet, especially over 30 years old. It was really hard. Now I think we're in a good stage that we have um, three thirds of the market wearing helmets and it's just now it's a fashion part. It's people are yeah, saying, um, I wear a helmet because it's not just boring, it's fashion also. Uh, we try to give uh, more technology, some new items, uh, new ideas. Also with the helmets, for example, people ask uh, something new with new ideas. So it's important to be ready with innovations every year, every year, every year. A new helmet with two technologies, ABS and InMold, to, to get the advantage of both technology in one helmet. Uh, then I think there are a lot of technologies that uh, are going to be launched. We feel and we think that safety first is very important and Lima will grant the safety and then to, to be comfortable with the helmets uh, like they are with a cap. You know when you are skiing you don't see your face uh, so it's a, a way for them to, ex to express their identity so I think that they are using also the helmet for that but for the safety because they want to try new stuff and to go always over the limits and test new stuff, always more dangerous. I think the most important thing is lightweight and low profile. And combining with those two things, it needs to be certified to that snow standard. Uh, I think that's the biggest trend. And along with that, it's adjustability, whether it's a BOA fit system like we have, um, adjust, oh, ventilation on the top, whether it's inside, vent plugs. So adjustability, lightweight, and low profile, I think is the biggest thing. The materials and the technology and everything you have behind, I think that's more important than what people really believe. So uh, I would say that, I mean, style, uh, what you think fits, maybe number one, but I think the, the, the performance is really close to it, which is good.